Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio with another one. And today I pose the question Did Tyson Fury snake Deontay Wilder? Let's get into it. So, yesterday came the announcement of Tyson Fury's ESPN deal which with incentives if he meets his targets he could make a reported up to a reported 80 million over five fights that's two fights per year minimum and I guess in the third year if he takes the two fights per year minimum then it's one fight so we're looking at two and a half years although in recent times I think last year Tyson Fury fought three times in the year so it could be as much as two and a half years it could be as little as two years 18 months Tyson is a crafty guy so he could potentially do it in 18 months will he meet the criteria for the profit incentives or bonus incentives without fighting Wilder or Joshua I would imagine that would be unlikely so realistically we're looking at the bottom line of 40 mil with the added incentives potentially if he meets the targets bringing him up to 80 mil so that's the reality of the deal as I see it without seeing the contracts that's on a common sense level so the main question did Tyson Fury snake Deontay Wilder well naturally that's going to boil down to a matter of opinion now on an ethical level if you are in negotiations contract negotiations for a rematch which was a draw and you let it be known that you're in contract negotiations for a rematch and you're coming close to the target then on an ethical level you would expect that yeah that was real but clearly behind the scenes in the meantime Tyson was in negotiations with ESPN now how is that going to make Deontay Wilder feel well Clearly, he's going to feel like a punk. He's going to feel like he was punked. Um, it's going to sting. No doubt about it. it uh, it's not going to feel good. To know that you've missed out on the payday which you were expecting. Uh, I don't know how he felt when he went to bed last night. He woke up thinking that he was in a rematch and went to bed feeling as if he were punked. How would that feel? Well, under those circumstances, a man would need some consolation, some consoling. Did Tyson Fury snake Deontay Wilder? Ah, that's a that's a really tough one. Ethically, I would have to say yes. It was not an ethical move. But on the flip side, we have to acknowledge that it was Wilder who said that Joshua or Team Joshua, Eddie Hearn, was dishonorable called Eddie Hearn a snake and rather 
than deal with the snake, he found an honorable man from England in the shape of Tyson Fury. So, isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic that the guy that Wilder sought refuge in because he didn't want to deal with the snake? Isn't it ironic that that very man may have snaked Deontay Wilder? <laughs> now, I'm not saying he did. I'm posing the question to the viewers, the listeners. How do you feel? Did Tyson Fury snake Deontay Wilder? That's the question. He said it. Wilder said that he Hearn was a snake. So he's going to deal with Fury. And he turns around and potentially got snaked by Fury. That's the question, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Get back to me with your answers. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm out.